Hello everyone. Welcome to 21 Minutes School. And I'm very happy that many of you are waiting for this video tutorial. I'm so excited. I I noticed a lot of you people who are mentioning my name um, in the you test. Okay, and I am very happy. My U, U point ranking is now 116 uh, among 461,537 U testers. This is my uh, U point, and 3,444 people are U testers are following me, and I am following these people. Okay, I'm so happy to be in this very uh, in this very platform, and I'm very happy to go through this uh, wonderful comments, inspirational um, feedbacks, and so many appreciations on my articles and video tutorials on YouTube. I'm so happy. I actually didn't notice all these things. But when I I was uh, coming across all these uh, so beautiful comments, feedbacks, and suggestions, I feel huge encouragement to create more wonderful tutorials and write some more uh, beautiful articles. It's really encouraging and inspiring. Thank you so much, my colleagues and friends, those who are watching my video tutorials and those who are actually uh, inspiring me to go some extra miles okay I'm so happy and I'm ever grateful that many of you are taking time to write beautiful comments okay I once again welcome you and today we are going to create another video tutorial today we are going to start an uh, exciting journey we are right here and today we are going to practice with modular programming with Facebook login functionality okay let's go to Facebook.com, Facebook.com. I think I'm already signed in. I want to clock out. And actually, we are going to work on this module. This is a module or component or a unit. And we also call it build, you know. So this is a build. This is a build. This is another build. This is a unit or component. This is also another component. And this one is another component, okay? So we are going to work on this component or unit. And let's see how we can do it. So excuse me I'm going to going to create a class and name of the class will be login 
functionality tests okay and I just check in click on finish and we are here now first what we are going to do is we are going to instantiate a browser and we know already what does it mean uh, let's do not do not um, waste our time I just copy this because these codes are reusable and when we will mm, work on actual project we will also do the same we will not write all these codes again and again okay so I just want to copy it then Facebook login functionality test which one uh, login functionality test Facebook okay which one Facebook login functionality test login functionality test this one no okay we can take it from here this one okay now let me close all this they can be sometimes distracted so just what I want to do I just copy and paste it okay and make it a little indentation I'm indenting actually we can go mm, one more step back okay then we are working on Facebook not on Bank of America so I'm going to actually I'm going to change the URL okay so facebook.com <coughs> All right now we are going to use your name what's wrong with it okay filled by expat better I say enter email then I'll say six enter password then seven mm. let's not mention every step rather we mentioned the main steps this is like three this is four and this is five and here I say mm, print title then get confirmation confirmation then I'll say close the browser very simple oh, test tabs now what I'm going to do we can also 
since this is login functionality what we can do we can just copy all this three steps or I can actually copy all of them but I'm not doing it I don't want to make you confused so just I can come here okay actually I'm here step four okay then I take this one and finally I'm taking this one off to and copy this all right <coughs> so what I have to do I just change all this okay I'm going to change it and I'm going to change it so if you have code you don't need to waste your time then uh, if you are a little bit uh, attentive then you can do it so we are going to Bank of America and we are going to send email address here so I inspect element and I want to take it by export. I'll just copy here. And where is export? Export. There is no export, but I can make it, right? So I copy export and just paste here. All right. And then send keys. I'm sending a key with a fake. Uh, email address and I'm going to find element of password field and I'm going to take the CSS selector here is CSS selector copy selector then I just put it here okay then finally I'm going to it's like enter email and enter password then on what button login button okay click on log in button so let's go and find element of the login button so login button value do, 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 type submit what we can do we can take also export let me take export, copy it, and finally just paste the export. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I just right button click, 
and run it. It's taking time to click on login button. Why? Let's wait and see what happens. Okay. And we can see it's here. It didn't click. We don't know why it's not clicking. Even when I click, it's taking time. Oh my goodness. Okay. How do you want to user in Google to do, do, do. Uh -huh. continue? Not really. Okay, so it it seems there is a Facebook account that has been created because we automated to uh, submit form. That's why. Mm, let's see. It's not clicking. So let me inspect the elements once again and click on login button. I can see ID is this. Let's take this ID. Okay. ID is equal to this one. I just copy and I'll take ID instead of export. I just paste it here and it's by ID. Okay. I see export has some issues, especially on clicking button in different browsers. Again, it fails to click on login button. Okay, let me check again. If an ID couldn't click on it, Let's try different way. Okay. <sighs> Let's try again. ID is login. Button name is login. Okay. No problem. ID is login button by ID. This is ID. Login button. Let's try now. It should be working. And yes, it clicked. Okay. So try again later. You're trying to open 
yes we understand so we couldn't log in because we uh, used face uh, fake uh, password and fake uh, gmail address okay now what we are going to do okay now let's close the browser uh, driver dot close the browser and driver dot quit all right and then I say see so the test success fully completed so first what we are going to do we are going to uh, do get confirmation or just mm, let's get the title get the title first okay so what I can do um, I can say driver dot get title where is title 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 get title okay and since it's going to return string value I just write string title is equal to this one and I just write see so the Title is I just say title. All right. Now I can just run it. And it's definitely running. We are clicking again and again and Facebook is not happy with us <laughs> okay the test successfully completed and again what I am going to do I'm going to get the confirmation that I'm inside the Facebook page what page let me see I'm on this page create new account okay or I can tell this inspect elements please try again later I want this okay please try again this later okay how I can do it I think I can take the spot or copy selector copy selector you know it's nothing but CSS selector so I can say get confirmation driver dot find element by dot it's not by CSS selector the CSS selector is this one <coughs> and I just
let's see click on get text where is text get text get text get text okay and again since this is confirmation right just a minute so what this is also giving us a string value so I can say string confirmation message and I can say see so And I can print the confirmation message and it will give us the message that we want to get and that is let us print it and please try again later now what we can do we can say here the confirmation confirm mission message is This one right okay we know the confirmation message is this one okay let me make it run again actually we learn all these things in the previous uh, session we are just practicing maybe we are going to learn a couple of more uh, commands okay so in nine we can see driver oh, sorry driver dot get string 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 get class get current URL and we want to get the current URL. So, for example, print the current URL. It's also a string. So, I say string current. U R L. It's going to print the current U R L. This is also a string, so I just store in a string value. In okay, so I just say C so and print the current U R L. It's, it's not here here all right then click here I'm a little bit you know a little bit sick so actually not feeling good yet I want to keep going I don't want to take time so this is the current URL okay now how you will know it's a current URL we can check this is the current URL okay all right because we are on this page not inside the page because we couldn't break the system because we uh, provided 
incorrect credentials okay now I want to get the page source also where page source are here I want to see all the source okay even we can do it too how we can do it let's let's go back to our project and I say number 10 view page source we can say driver dot get string get class get page source okay okay and it will also return string value so I just say page source and I can say see so and and just print the page source and run the test <coughs> and you see these are the page source you know because we wanted to print it oh my goodness these are the page shows oh my goodness huge 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 okay we can check it here I think if we maximize it where if you want to check it you can open a notepad and check it here oh my goodness too many All right, <clears throat> we are not interested in page shows. However, thus, if someone wants, we can show the page source also. Okay, now what else we can do in? I just showed you it's not necessary actually okay so in 10 we close the driver okay 
and finally say the test successfully completed okay now <clears throat> how we can make it modular we learned it in the previous um, tutorials right now what we can do we can create a utilities I can write just click here another package and I just say <coughs> actually we are not in this project we are in this project so I just say package and I write utilities already exist I say utilities one underscore one and say finish <coughs> then I just click here and go to class create a new class and I say driver factory and I say one okay Now we have a driver factory, it's a class, right? So we have to write um, kind of a function. It's like I can say public static web driver. Okay, and say open and say string browser type type. Okay, you will come to know what I am doing. Don't worry about it. calibrations and driver is a class we have to import it all right now it says what change type wide <coughs> we don't want it what we can do we can say if browser type <coughs> dot equals dot equals uh, ignore case ignore case case is C capital okay browser type browser browser okay then <coughs> we can say it's Chrome we take uh, equals ignore case because if in case we forget to make it small or capital cap so that uh, it doesn't um, become unfunctional so that it can be functional uh, I hope you understand then uh, I can say
I just go back to our project and I say this one system set property chrome driver dot driver where is it all right Um, I don't know why it's uh, showing us red mark. Let us um, troubleshoot browser. Browser type cannot be resolved. It should be similar, right? What's wrong with it? Oh, sorry. Type should be like T Y P E. Okay, it's now okay. Now it should be return type. So we have to write <coughs> return a new chrome driver okay now what's wrong with it again browser type better to copy because sometimes these are crazy seems okay okay now then I will go for actually I didn't tell you what we are going to do actually I'm going to create a driver factory to run our tests in different browsers so we say cross functional browser testing or cross browser testing <clears throat> okay so I say else we can write here else then I'll say mm -hmm -hmm. this one I, I'll just copy and paste all right actually we don't need again and again just I need this one else say for example Firefox Firefox is gecko driver right gecko dot driver and here will be little change there will be no chrome driver rather it will be gecko driver gecko driver or if you want to check it what you can do you can go to your what is driver driver and check gecko driver is this one right button click yeah it's gecko driver right all the um, paths are same except the file name okay so now what you can do <coughs> remember uh, we are in utilities this one utilities underscore one is our um what we can say it's uh, our package name and our, our class name is driver factory underscore one all right so what we can do we want to maximize the window yes for our better um, benefit so that we can work and concentrate on our coding uh, now what we can do uh, we created a driver factory 
and we want to connect the driver factory with our project okay so that we can run this project with minimum coding okay now what we can do this is our main method can you remember I can say uh, driver is equal to say utilities this is the name of our package utilities one underscore one dot driver factory one you see the class I just press enter then I'll say dot open uh, the first one should be yeah browser type and I just uh, terminate it now it's showing it doesn't have connection because <clears throat> now we need global level <laughs> where we can do it we can do it here we can say browser type is equal to I can say Chrome all right and it should be a string okay I'll say string I think okay yes now it has the access to each other then I can say web driver is driver all right no, I can see everything. Oh, no, no, it's not functioning because now this driver secret class create web driver da, 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 da. change to web driver. Okay, no problem. This is a class. So I just bring it here. Now, <clears throat> since we have this driver, okay, uh, it doesn't have access to all. Why? Because this become the global driver. So what I can do, I can just delete it. You know what I am doing because in the previous class we did it but I'm just showing here how we can do cross-functional browser testing or cross-browser testing okay now what I can do a little more maybe I think we are done let's now run our codes okay and check it's functioning well I just click here run it I want to keep it wide because I want to see the result here At the same time it's running and the result is here we can see yes I'm sorry I'm really sick today <laughs> you know I don't feel like talking you know I fell sleepy I took medicine no, anyway I'll take rest after this recording Chrome is being controlled by okay now you see it's done 
um, I just want to keep words you know I told you in the previous uh, the previous status at your test uh, I will post the video today okay so everything fine okay everything is fine so even we can keep this URL short if we want but I don't want it so now I run this test with Chrome what else if I uh, do with Firefox Firefox browser why you know we have also Firefox so where in the driver factory if you see else we don't if we don't use Chrome else use this gecko driver means Firefox okay either these or this if run Chrome it will not or else means if we don't run by Chrome then it will run by Gecko driver means what Firefox right so let's see what's wrong so now we choose browser type is where where is our this one now we choosing not Chrome <coughs> actually we don't need it anymore because it is in our driver factory right okay now I run this with Firefox now Firefox has an issue nowadays yeah maybe you have to check the driver factory gecko driver it's a Chrome driver no it's a Firefox driver fire fox and we have to import it it's a gecko and it should be also gecko at the end you know gecko driver yeah gecko driver is okay now just save it and go back to our project run it excuse me invoking the browser navigating to facebook.com I told you the browser latest browser uh, has some issue maybe that's why and then what I have to do I have to downgrade the browser and since it is invoking it's going to work so our code is okay and what you can do you know you can even use uh, multi browsers how I can show you right here right driver factory so what we can do we can just say if uh, else if okay and just say then we have to put this argument also Browser type dot equals ignore case Chrome. It will be like Firefox, and it can be both small cap or capital cap because we say equals ignore cases. Ignore case means in case we forget to uh, make it capital ca ca case, just run it. All right now what we can do we can just copy it and we say
if else if finally we will say else okay and now at the end actually we don't need it okay and we just put else this okay but if you want to put some more uh, drivers here like safari mini opera and many more it depends on your project on your company how many browsers testing they want to do it depends on the company you can keep going okay but this three okay you can do it by turn and this time it will be like ie driver ie internet explorer and you have to change it to what is the name of the browser let's check ie driver server okay so it will be ie ie driver and server let's check is capital s server dot exe now we are ready okay and what you can do just go to the project i think this one yeah and i'll just right button click and this time we are running with ie internet explorer now again internet explorer has also some issue going on the present browser might not run but i think they will going to fix the issue very soon uh, or they fixed i don't know <coughs> let's check and definitely it's going to be also internet explorer driver ie driver let's check is there class ie driver create class oh web driver no so we have to write internet explorer driver this is the, just to show you how we do cross browser functional testing you know and it may not work because i told you some issues going on with firefox and internet explorer but they gonna mm, fix the issue very soon i hope or what we can do we can just downgrade the browser version and mm, it's going to work what's wrong the part of the driver okay part of the driver is not okay i got it part of the driver firefox else we are with internet explorer driver internet explorer driver and we have to import it too and we have to check ie driver server is okay it's now okay um, let's run back and check i'm sorry i made the video so long you see it's invoking that means it's working but what we have to do we have to just um, uh, deinstall uninstall the browser and reinstall again downgrading the version it's definitely going to work so thus we can also make it make our cross-functional 
across browser testing okay now you know how we can uh, make the code modular modular okay um, in the last class we discussed it so you can try yourself and let me know whether it's working or not so thank you very much um, please pray for me and uh, so that I can mm, get well soon and mm, if you think it's helpful definitely please don't forget to put like leave some good comments or suggestion or feedback and please don't forget to um, subscribe the channel you know I see hundreds of people are uh, watching the video tutorial and still uh, I'm below 50 subscriber you know I just created this channel to help the people I know selenium is a very expensive training um, uh, I spent for the first time I think I remember is a 4,000 just for you know um, I went to school and it took me four thousand dollar just to learn uh, intermediate level selenium uh, in 2012 now it's uh, becoming cheaper yet still if you go to school they will take four thousand five thousand some schools take like seven thousand dollar okay so yet um, they don't teach um, really well I had to go through books several courses to learn all these things yet I couldn't learn like uh, BDD cucumber from school to learn it I had to spend <laughs> another thousand dollar and I learned it from a guy whatever I'm giving free video tutorial mm. Uh, intermediate level it's like four thousand dollar but for advanced level like uh, if you want to learn advanced level architect level framework I will be charging little okay thank you very much and uh, just under the video tutorial you will find um, a short article you will find both the Bengali and English video tutorials there also we have Bangla video tutorial just below this video tutorial just click on the Bangla links and you can go there and learn from there if you uh, no Bengali okay those who are comfortable with Bangla language so thank you very much see you in the next tutorial